Hello, folks. Mob Voice sent me their new AI voice recorder last week and wanted me to create a product review video. This video reflects my honest opinion and personal experience after using the product for several days. So we have this AI voice recorder promising to revolutionize how we capture and transcribe audio. But do you really need another device when your phone can already record audio? Why not just use your phone? The main limitations of phone recording include interruption issues. Incoming calls, notifications, and other apps can interrupt recording. There are also multitasking conflicts. You can't use other apps while recording. In some cases, a dedicated device may be necessary to ensure that meetings or conversations can be recorded without interruption. Is it a must-have device? Honestly, it depends. Before these products existed, I could use a traditional voice recorder and handle transcription on my computer. However, this product claims to offer a more seamless, streamlined workflow that saves time and improves efficiency. The question is, does it actually deliver on these promises? Today, I'll conduct a side-by-side -side comparison to evaluate whether this AI voice recorder provides real benefits or if it's just marketing hype. What is an AI voice recorder? The product consists of a credit card-sized voice recorder, a mobile app, and a web portal. Let's talk about the hardware first. The recorder is three millimeters thick, even thinner than four credit cards stacked together. It weighs one ounce, the same as a DJI wireless mic. Now let's talk about the design and control buttons. On the front, it has a switch to toggle between different modes, a power button, short press to wake up the device, long press to start or stop recording, and a tiny screen indicating the current status. On the top, there are two microphone holes. On the back, there's a magnetic charging connector, since it's too thin for a regular charging port. Inside, it has 64 gigabytes memory, and the battery supports 25 hours of continuous recording on a single charge. The magnetic case holds the device securely. Decent quality, no complaints. However, for my use case, I wanted to wear it while recording. So here's my solution. I attached a metal piece to its back, then used a strong magnet to mount it as a wearable device. Mobboy could consider including these accessories to make the product more versatile. The mobile app offers transcription capabilities and integrated AI features, summary, mind map, key insights, and deep research. Keep in mind, these features all depend on transcription accuracy. The TicNut web UI is convenient when you need to copy and paste the generated content. For this comparison test, I'll use identical conditions. Same speaker, me, same environment. The traditional method involves recording audio using a DJI wireless mic first generation, transferring files to computer, transcribing using Whisper model, then using AI to generate summary if needed. The AI voice recorder method involves recording directly on the device with real-time transcription appearing on the companion app then exporting or sharing transcription immediately. I'll evaluate both methods on sound quality, efficiency, transcription accuracy, and overall user experience. Round one, sound quality. Here's the audio from the TickNote recorder, audio sample. Why my next storage upgrade won't be an SSD? When it was time to upgrade a storage on my PC, Here's the audio from the DJI wireless mic, audio sample. Why my next storage upgrade won't be an SSD? When it was time to upgrade a storage on my PC. The DJI wireless mic clearly wins in sound quality, but the TickNote captures acceptable audio for voice recording purposes. I'd rate TickNote a four and the DJI mic a five. Round two, efficiency. The TickNote recorder workflow has just two steps, record and view results. The DJI wireless mic workflow has four steps, record, upload files to computer, use OpenAI transcription service, then export the transcription. In this round, TickNote gets a five rating while the wireless mic gets a one. Round three, transcription accuracy. Here's the transcript from the TickNote recorder. Not perfect, but acceptable. Here's the transcript from OpenAI. Whisper, typically more accurate. 
The ratings are 4 versus 4.5. Overall user experience scores. Tick note 4 plus 5 plus 4 equals 13, while DJI Mike scores 5 plus 1 plus 4.5 equals 10.5. Does the TickNote recorder provide real benefits by improving note-taking efficiency? Based on this test, yes. When does the AI voice recorder work well? For business meetings and interviews, on-the-go note-taking, and when you need immediate transcription. When does the traditional method work better? For high-quality audio production, budget-conscious users, and when you have specific transcription software preferences. My conclusion, the AI voice recorder isn't perfect, but it does deliver on its core promise of streamlined workflow. Whether that's worth the premium depends on how much you value your time and convenience. What's your take on AI voice recorders? Have you tried any? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't like this video, just click the dislike button twice. See you next time.